it actually sold. It's been more than two years since I bought that picture frame. I wasn't sure if it was gonna sell, if it was even worth what I paid for it, or if it was gonna be worth $10,000. Really didn't know, now we know. Hello my people, welcome back to J6 Flips. We're heading to the storage unit now to pick up the picture frame that just sold on Mercari. We had it listed on eBay for a while. We picked it up over two years ago at our first time ever at the bins. Literally walked in and grabbed it within the first 30 minutes. I remember that there were a bunch of people already at the bins that they had rolled out, so they were the fresh ones that came out and everyone was already surrounding them and picking through them and I was still kind of just being passive, hanging out on the other side, finding my things. Uh, when the space started clearing out, I headed over there and immediately saw a huge picture frame in there. Uh, recognized the face, recognized the name, and this autograph. Um, I couldn't tell if it was real or what it was exactly, but it came with a certificate of authenticity, so you know I grabbed it, especially at the bins. So I ended up paying probably 2 or $3 for it, and um, it took me a while to even research it. I didn't list it for the longest time because I didn't know what it was and I didn't want to underprice it but I also didn't want to overprice it, so let's go take a look at it. Of course, everything that I searched with Ty Cobb autographed picture frame came up crazy prices. I mean, obviously a legend of the game, uh, someone that a lot of people looked up to growing up and that generation of the people who would probably want this picture frame. So when I was looking into it, it was hard to find any real comparison on what to price it at. And I also didn't know exactly what it was. The picture is unique because he's not even wearing a baseball cap. He's just in casual clothing. So I thought for sure that might make it more valuable. There was an autograph on there. It didn't look real. It looked like maybe a print that they did a couple of. But the fact that it was in the picture frame with the certificate of authenticity just made it seem like it was worth way more than the $3 I spent on at the Goodwill bins. The issue was I couldn't really figure out what it was. I couldn't find a real name on it, I couldn't find any real information on it, and I couldn't verify anything. So I didn't want to price it way over the top and then someone say, hey, this isn't real, and say I lied about what it was. So I was very upfront about it in the description. I said, it is a print. I said, it's not a real autograph. I didn't know how many ways to say it, but I didn't want them to think that they were getting a Ty Cobb autograph photo. Um, but look at this thing the fact that it's just like a regular he's dressed up like to, to go on a night on the town it's got the autograph there but it definitely looks like it was printed on there or done originally and just reprinted over multiple times the certificate of authenticity is there it has some info but not a lot and then it has like a newspaper clipping just a little bit about ty cobb there unfortunately i couldn't verify that it was real or anything like that so i couldn't come really price it at ten thousand dollars or something crazy like that but i knew it was still valuable because it is in a nice shape eventually i pulled the back off of it just to see if i could find some info and there was a name to a photographer on the back that was helpful in getting kind of a ballpark of what these things are worth he was a well-known photographer he did shoot a lot of uh, very famous people and a lot of those photos would sell around 40 to 50 bucks, which was uh, awesome for me at the time even. I thought it would be great. When I listed this, I went above that. I wanted to see who would go with me up to around 200 bucks, so that's what I priced it at, 200. Ended up getting an offer for 170 on Mercari, and I gladly took that. The trick now is, how are we gonna send this thing? This is glass. It's huge. Uh, I believe the measurements are, it's 22 inches tall and 18 inches across. If I could find something that won't push on this thing while it's traveling and also just the frame will keep it intact. So that's gonna be the goal today is finding a way to ship this thing safely and getting it out to the buyer and hopefully this thing makes it. Even looking at it again now, it definitely doesn't look like it was autographed on this actual one, but still such a unique photo of Ty Cobb in street clothes. I mean, obviously most of the stuff you see is him just in uniform or something like that with his baseball cap on or at it in the batter's box, out in the field. The fact that he's just in casual street clothes here, I think made it more valuable and why people wanted it in the first place. I had a lot of watchers for the longest time. No one really pulled the trigger because I think of that price tag, um, but someone eventually saw the value in it as well and I was glad to take it. So I thought about going out and finding a box that fits this thing exactly, but I think I'd rather make it myself. I had this huge box here from Kohl's. I think my mother-in-law got a bunch of pots and pans. I'm gonna cut it down and make it perfect for this.
All right, so we're all packaged up. Wasn't too difficult. I just had to cut it down a couple different sides and um, reinforce it. I even left these corners here to kind of help with any brace, like brace any cushioning or any impact. So this thing you could pretty much toss at a wall and impact on the wall and the ground would be okay. So um, should be safe. I'm gonna slap a bunch of uh, fragile stickers on it to hopefully help it, uh, but it should be good. So our box is done. We also have a couple solds just from the weekend. These are some guest jeans. They are my old jeans that I wore for a few years actually and I just didn't want them anymore. Zero cost of goods because I don't consider that buying it to flip and sold them for 25 bucks plus shipping. Here's a England Vapor Knit jersey. Uh, blue one. It's a medium so I didn't think it would sell so fast but it did. I paid six bucks. Sold for I believe 40 plus shipping. Here's a Rain Spooner Special Edition. It's a USC version. Paid 10 bucks for it at the Goodwill and uh, sold for 40 bucks plus shipping. And these are some old shorts of mine as well. Uh, I bought them for myself at the Goodwill to flip. Then I tried them on, liked them, and then I didn't like how they felt when I ran, so I sold them. So that was 15 bucks. Um, easy money. So these are all ready to rock. Time to hit the post office. I'm really glad I was able to make a box for this thing because usually when I have larger items I have to go to the Box City store to get something specific for it and it's an extra six to ten bucks sometimes for a, a box that'll actually fit it. So I'm glad I was able to use this. I saved a couple bucks there. All right, so we're all loaded up. We got the packages ready to go out. I'm all sweaty because it's already 85 degrees here in the San Fernando Valley and it's not even 10 yet. Um, but I'm just glad to have this thing sold. I'm pretty stoked about it actually because one of my earlier picks and the fact that it turned into such a big profit, um, pretty stoked about that. You can't complain, really. Um, it was nice that I was picking things that I knew were valuable then, and um, it seems like I do that pretty often where I'll find things that are valuable, but it does have to be for the right buyer. So luckily I have the space for it to store stuff, but I am going to work on getting my sell-through rate a little bit better, things that flip faster, but when it comes to things like this, I'm willing to wait on it because I know there's value there. Um, I'm glad it worked out this time. It took a little longer than I'd hoped, but I'm glad it worked out. I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for more action. I'm going to be going to the bins a lot more. I'm going to be keep on staying in the thrift stores and um, just staying on the grind. Uh, the holidays are just around the corner. I'm trying to build the store to have as many awesome things to sell as possible. Um, so keep on listing.